Thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. You guys got it back. It's awesome to see you all. So, welcome back to The Late Night Show. I'm Emerson Brown, your favorite late night host. In honor of Father's Day today, we ask you to send in stories about your dad, your grandpa, your uncle, your favorite men in your life because we wanted to know the things that they always said to you in their quirks that make them special to you. And we got some great answers. Here are a few of them that really encapsulate the spirit of being a dad. So, number one, this user submitted. This person wrote, if we were watching a basketball game and the announcer says a player on the free throw line is to shoot a pair, my dad adds, and a peach and an apple. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the number, user number two uh, submitted, whenever my dad left the house, he'd say, I'm going to go see a man about a horse. I was never sure if he was kidding or had a secret farmer life we didn't know. <laughs> That's some mob activity right there. <laughs> Sounds like you need to look at the wise guys. This is serious. <laughs> All right, next user said, every time my dad would get a bill, <laughs> he'd say, what's the damage? <laughs> it didn't matter if we were at dinner, Home Depot, or just opening the mail at home. What's the damage? All right, the next user submitted, on Sundays after church, my dad would come home to watch the game. Inevitably, he'd fall asleep and usually start snoring, but if we tried to change the channel, he'd wake up and immediately say, I'm just resting my eyes, I'm just resting my eyes. <laughs> All right, next user submitted. I once sprained my ankle while playing soccer. When my dad saw me sitting out there, he said, let me see your hand, I'll make you forget about your ankle. <laughs> it's horrible. All right, next. Anytime something was wrong, my dad would say, you need to go sit on the toilet. <laughs> I, would have, I would have loved to hear him say that when I was having a crappy day. <laughs> Imagine just being like, dad, my throat hurts. You need to go sit on the toilet. <laughs> dad, I need some money. I think you need to go sit on the toilet. <laughs> All right, growing up, I always got in some kind of trouble and my dad would say things to me that I really can't repeat here. But God love them. I miss them every day. Oh, that's really sweet. Okay, well, we might uh, like to tease our dads for the things they do or say, but the truth is we wouldn't trade them for anyone or anything. Thanks to all the dads, grandpas, uncles, and bonus dads out there who continue to give us great stories to share. And I definitely want to give a special thank you to my father. And we wish you a happy Father's Day. See y'all later. Have a great night.